Welcome to the IBM Software as a Service demonstration series. In this series, we will demonstrate a set of architectural patterns exploiting features in IBM middleware to build software as a service solutions. In this demo, we will take a look at web service mediation patterns for dynamic routing of multiple tenant requests using WebSphere's DataPower SOA appliance. Multi-tenant web-delivered solutions can be built by sharing a single instance of the application server, database, operating system, and physical server amongst multiple client organizations as shown in Figure 1. However, sharing existing web services between multiple tenants requires time-consuming and potentially expensive code changes. For example, the single tenant check credit score web service with the WSDL interface shown in Figure 2 would require the addition of a tenant ID parameter as shown in Figure 3. In this demo, we'll describe a mediation proxy pattern that routes service invocations from a tenant's user to service endpoints dedicated to that tenant. This pattern can be implemented in a number of different ways using IBM middleware. In this demo, we will demonstrate the implementation using WebSphere data power. To view alternative ways of implementing this capability using WebSphere Business Services Fabric or WebSphere Enterprise Service Bus, click on the links at the end of this demo. Our scenario involves a sample multi-tenant banking application called Javaro, which is two tenants, First Bank of North America, First Bank, and Second Canada Bank, Second Bank. The Javaro Service Provider Administrator, Sam Peters, would like to offer a new credit check web service integrated with two external service providers, Expo and SNR. He would like to enable multi-tenancy without any code changes to his existing single-tenant services. Based upon requests from Betty Nord, the first bank administrator, and Karen Sims, the second bank administrator, he'd like to specify a routing rule in the mediation pattern layer. After specifying this rule, Bob Nottingham, a First Bank customer, will have his service requests routed to the Expo service provider, and Carrie Serrano, a Second Bank customer, will have her requests routed to the SNR service provider. He would also like to build additional functions, such as authorization and monitoring. We will now show how Sam Peters can use WebSphere data power to configure rules or policies for web service request routing, authorization, and monitoring and web services traffic shaping. We will show how Sam Peters creates a data power web service proxy with a front side handler component and routing rules so that web service requests from first bank and second bank customers are routed to the Expo and SNR credit check service endpoints respectively. We will also show how he integrates Tivoli Access Manager to configure access control policies and how he configures service level monitoring and web service traffic shaping rules in data power. This is done through simple point and click steps. Here we show how Sam Peters uses the data power web console to configure the credit check service web service proxy. He creates a front side handler component for this proxy to accept SOAP requests and a routing policy for selecting the correct endpoint for a tenant. He builds a routing map for configuring this policy. The routing map includes a routing rule which applies an XPath expression to extract a tenant ID parameter from the web service context. Based on the tenant ID value, this SOAP request is forwarded to the web service endpoint dedicated to the appropriate credit score service provider. For example, we can see here that requests with tenant ID equal bank 1 are forwarded to the endpoint with port 9332 and those with tenant ID equal bank 2 are forwarded to the port 9331. In addition to the routing policy, he also configures an authentication, authorization and audit, in short AAA, policy for this web service proxy. For authentication, the AAA policy accepts the lightweight third-party authentication tokens, LTPA, issued by the Web Services Client, WebSphere Portal in this case. For authorization, he delegates all decisions to Tivoli Access Manager. He specifies that the resource name be extracted from the URL of the service requested. We also map the extracted resource name to an element of the same name defined in the Tivoli Access Manager protected object space with the prefix web services. If the authentication and authorization rules return a deny result, the AAA policy rejects the service request. Here we show Sam configures authorization policies for the proxy web service in Tivoli Access Manager. 
This is the protected object space element with the prefix web service. Here we can see the access control list for the credit score service. Here we can see that the ACL specifies that only users in the group credit score users can access this web service. Next, Sam Peters creates a service level monitoring configuration in the Data Power web console. He specifies a limit of 60 service requests in 10 seconds to prevent denial of service attacks. Finally, in this graphical report, he monitors how the service is performing. Next, we show the result of this configuration. Bob Nottingham, a First Bank customer, logs into the bank's virtual portal. From the Credit Check Services portlet, he checks his credit score and finds that it is provided by Expo Credit Check Services. However, when Carrie Serrano, a Second Bank customer, uses the Credit Check portlet to check her credit score, the score is provided by SNR's Credit Check Services. This is achieved by a mediation proxy layer implemented with WebSphere Data Power, which routes the customer requests to the two different service providers for each tenant bank. In addition to what we showed in this demo, there are additional advantages to using Data Power. Data Power offers hardware accelerators for better performance, support for industry standards, and enhanced web services and XML security. In addition, Data Power provides seamless integration with Tivoli Access Manager and WebSphere Services Registry and Repository. Data Power also provides advanced protocol transformation capabilities. In conclusion, we have shown how to rapidly enable multi-tenancy for existing web service implementations by using a mediation pattern. We demonstrated this capability using IBM's Data Power, which offers wire speed routing and security functions. This mediation pattern could also have been implemented using either WebSphere Business Services Fabric or WebSphere Enterprise Service Bus. IBM has innovative resources and programs to help you manage change and become relevant in the software as a service market. Whether you're an ISV, system integrator, or reseller, we can provide education, support, and benefits to help you grow revenue and differentiate yourself. The first step will be to join the SaaS community. You'll automatically be kept aware of new SaaS technical benefits and workshops and get the enablement help that you need to transform your application for delivery in the IBM Software as a Service model. Then, as a member of the IBM SaaS community, you can register at the Virtual Innovation Center, VIC, where you will get personalized access to product support and education to help build your software as a service knowledge and skills. As an advanced level member of Partner World, you have the opportunity to gain access to additional marketing and sales support by qualifying for the software as a service specialty. For more information, visit our main site at ibm.com slash partnerworld slash SaaS.